What's going on guys? My name is Manomega and welcome back to Let's Play Some Machine Universe. So, last time we got through... Oh, where were we? Started the ancient section and we made it all the way to 404, which we got from the error 404 message. So, yeah, funny little inclusion there. And for this episode, we're going to be kicking things off with coordinates 902. So, let's mosey. More cameras. I don't want the cameras. And we've got more of our viewing machines, just like our, one of those other rooms we saw before that gave us the 411 coordinates. This one is very similar. It too gives us a movie from Sun Machine 2. Well, not a movie we can see in Sun Machine 2 now. The original intro movie for Sun Machine 2, the one that we can still see in the sketch of Sun Machine 2. How many times did I say Sun Machine 2 in the last 30 seconds? <laughs> But yeah, so I've got this little movie here. Which path I chose, 241. And I'm gonna stay in this screen while I write that down because I actually really like this music. And 241 is the next set of coordinates for us. And I don't even know if this song was included in uh, the Sumption 2 soundtrack because uh, the HD versions of the games that you buy from a 2 Skunnix website actually come with their um, soundtracks. I know it's complete ambience in the most case, but it's still nice to have. <laughs> anyway, let us move on. That was 902, so we're going to 002. The best room of them all. One screen of just us being in the pit. <laughs> yep, that's all this is. Funnily enough, this is the first new screen added after the first release of uh, Submachine Universe, back when it was still known as uh, the... It would have been the Subnet Exploration Project, I think was its original name. So, yeah. Uh, got some history here. This plus WY. Now, we don't have a WY yet, but we do want to make note of that. This plus WY. Alright, well, that's literally all that's for us here. So let's go to that very familiar second looking set of coordinates. 800. We have another Sun Machine 4 location, it's the ship! Well. <laughs> right. Now we can't actually go up to the other fourth floor anymore because uh, the ladder was taken down. You know, not that I could just put the ladder back up there or anything, no, that'd be too hard. Anyway. Well, there's WY. <laughs> it consists us um, WX and WY, so WX equals 23. WX equals 23, and WY equals, what was it, 688? 688. Well, now we can just immediately do this. So, 688. This... Oh, well, that's... <laughs> that's difficult. <laughs> Anyway, 690, which is another familiar looking set of coordinates. Not sure I like them. Actually, I'm pretty sure I hate them. Let's just move on. 770 is up next, which is also another familiar set of coordinates, because it leads us to the Tomb Trap. I didn't write down the ship's name. I gotta fix that. There we go. <laughs> and... Tomb Trap. And as always, there is literally nothing for us here except the usual 043 coordinates. And yes, they still work. <laughs> Put that down at the bottom. It's funny how this game sends you to uh, the original Tomb Trap and has you find the coordinates for the second tomb in the exact same way. Oh, that's how it goes. Anyway, next up is 552. Which is the roots! We are back at the roots. Okay. The roots. Right, so the first thing we're gonna do is gonna go down here, where the uh, first secret of the game was. We find another little machine there. This is where we're going to be using our karma vial. Which gives us a little karma portal. To another very edge looking place. Yeah. Looks very uh 
Ugh, in here. So I'm going to turn the fans on. Oh, what does I say? Filtration system offline, air ID unknown. Oh, so I guess this is somewhere we'll have to come back to, possibly. So... 552. So, PBU is the code for this area. So, we got a zappy zap gate in PBU. <laughs> and something about a filtration system? Hmm. I'll have to figure that one out. But, let's head back. And go the other way, into the route proper. But first, this minus WX. This minus WX. WX is 23. 552 take 23 is... that's 9. Is that 4, 2... 529. That is correct, isn't it? Notes? I'm looking at the wrong notes. <laughs> yes, it is indeed the right notes. It is five two nine. Oh, right notes. Right, um, you know what I, you know what I mean. Five two nine is the point here. Right, moving on. <laughs> Let's head on into the roots. The plug's still in, but the power's all gone out. Must have run out. Which means we won't be able to explore too far in. Luckily, there are karma portals everywhere. Look at this. We're back in, uh, back in these sewers. Pretty much exactly like the sewers uh, in Sector 9. Are these ones the fourth layer? Yeah, the fourth layer. Got some um, nice photos there. Taken by Karina. I'm not even going to try pronouncing that last name out of respect for the woman. <laughs> Funnily enough, uh, the code for this area is Car, K A R, which is, you know, shorthand for this person's name. So, let us head back on out and delve into the next set of coordinates, which are 258. Ah. Check this out. Well, first of all, we got a theory here, but I don't think it gives us anything. Nope. But uh, for those who don't know, these are known as the Nazca Lines. These are a bunch of gigantic uh, geoglyphs that you can find. Where are they? They're in the. I hope I'm pronouncing this right. The Satura, Satura, Satura Desert in uh, Peru, in South America. They're huge, and they've been there for a very long time. They're actually quite interesting. <laughs> and we've got another one of these, another photo of a sewing machine. For some reason. But again, the important thing is down here. Third of three, eight. So third of three is eight. Up here, oh, we have a car portal. Huh. Actually there's still a lot of pipes. And a theory. Written by 12 Vegeta 12. <laughs> Funnily enough, the code for this area is V12. <laughs> Probably the only area, like the only um, Karma Portal access area in the entire game where the code is not three letters. It's a combination of letters and numbers. But yeah, nothing for us down here. Oh wait, there is something for us down here. Another code, 947. How could I forget? Probably because this game is freaking massive. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, with that being said, let us move on to 103. From the ancient section to somewhere else that's ancient, but first, DI equals XXXIV. DI equals x, 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 y, v. That is 34. And again, because this is a variable, that's not actually a set of coordinates, so it wouldn't be 0, 34, unlike uh, what a set of coordinates would be. But, 
back at the ancient ruins from uh, Sun Machine Zero. Very nice. I should actually put the name down because we've been here before. <laughs> there we go. Now, this door won't actually open for us. Someone took the dragon tongues. And if we remember from Sun Machine Zero, we actually needed those dragon tongues to get in the first place, so, uh. Doors closed. Need tongues. That'll do. <laughs> but this area does have something for us, and that is a karma portal. Over this way, we have another little panel up here. 614 is the next set of coordinates for us. And over this way, we have another theory. Uh, theory in the form of a report. Yes. <laughs> exactly what that is. Anyway, but there's nothing else for us to do here until we find those dragon tongues, so let's stay on the look here. But, our next coordinates are 806. Ah! I know this place, we're back on the edge. The cliffs outside the edge, to be precise. Now, this place is actually just called The Cliffs, but I'm going to call them Edge Cliffs, just so we know exactly what I'm talking about. Over this way, there's some scales. Asia Sluiak. Huh. Oh. Okay, game, I don't weigh that much, come on. This thing's broken. Seriously, I don't even weigh that much. I can weigh like 75 to 80 kilos. <laughs> I'm actually somewhat light. <laughs> but anyway, remember this? No, you don't, because we saw a different one of these. But do you remember the concept of these? You might. We saw a, another panel like this in the shape of a silver oval much earlier on. Now we have another one that is a grey rectangle instead. This is a separate set of coordinates that we're going to need to find more panels for. So let's write that one down. So this one was a grey rectangle. Again, I'm just writing down the colour and the shape so I remember them better. And I believe that was the third coordinate is six. Yes. Now, if we head over in the other direction, along the cliffs again, we can't actually go into, uh, into the pipes. Oh well, we do have a karma portal. Hmm. Let's have a look around. Einstein and the cat theory. This theory is basically saying that Albert Einstein reincarnated into Murtar's cat. <laughs> but we can actually go inside this pipe. Which I find pretty cool, because I don't think we've done anything like this throughout the series so far. Well, not with like a rip in a pipe like that, because it looks really small. But down here, we have a lever handle. Head over in the other direction. Wait, was that another? Yeah, someone. The Kaluza Klein layer theory. Hmm. So, could this be like applying a pre existing theory to layers, perhaps? Maybe. Alright. Over here we have some kind of hatch, and luckily we just picked up a lever handle, which we can put to immediate use. Yeah. <laughs> In this way, we have another karma portal. Which takes us to a place which is kind of like a combination of the edge and the core, because we've got the fluorescent plants, the very, very pretty things, but we've also got this kind of architecture. This is where we're going to put our propeller blade. And we've seen this exact site before with a fan like that, with a light coming down like this, back in the area that had a failing filtration system. So maybe those two are connected, but we will save that for later. We'll save that for the big cleanup much later on, because much like uh, the other Sun Machine games, I like to do as much as I can at at one point with what I've got, and then go back for the cleanup. That's all we can do here. So, what's up next? 461.
We're in another familiar location. It's the sewers. We are back in the lighthouse sewers. Why anyone would want to come back here, I don't know, but we're here anyway. <laughs> now, there are a couple of things for us here. None of them to do with the puzzles we've already had before, because once you know it, we've already solved them. <laughs> you have a theory here. The plan, not in Beamer theory. So, I'm guessing this is the theory, like, really going into, like, the plan and the knots and how it all interconnects across the layers and all that. You know, the beam is being our way of traveling across the layers back in some machine 8. Up here in uh, Liz's old room. Well, it's in Liz's room, but this is the note to Liz room. We have another silver oval panel. The third number is 8. Right, so, silver oval. Something, something, 8. The base there, just in case. Now... We've only seen two of these, haven't we? This being the second. I do believe that we've only seen one other one, and that was... Way back early on. That was, yeah, back in corner 628. So we don't have our third number just yet. That's not all this place has for us. Well, the cells are blocked off, so we can't get out that way. Back this way, should be able to find. I'm not going the right way here. <laughs> no, I've just gone in a full circle. This is the one I want, which will give us another one of the grey rectangular panels. So the first number for that one is nine. So, grey rectangle. Nine is the first digit. Nothing in here. Now there's one more thing for us here. If we keep going along the main pipe here, you'll find a karma portal. It's a lovely, uh, it's a lovely purple. Yeah, over this way. It looks like something moving very fast that was captured on photo. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> over this way. Oh, we got another theory. That's impossible. Nothing has changed. The coordinates are the same, yet everything is gone. There's nothing there now. I can't see anything. Don't worry. He sees you. That's all you need to know. I don't understand. You don't have to. Just accept it. Now bend over and relax the muscles. <laughs> I apologize for allowing those words to leave my mouth. <laughs> That's how creepy it sounded, though. It's like, don't worry. He knows. <laughs> just, just let it happen. <laughs> just accept it. Oh, that sounds worse the more I speak. I'm going to stop now. <laughs> anyway, next set of coordinates, 987. 87. Moving on. I'm here in second. Protocol of coordinate retreat. Does this minus QI... And yes, there is a grandfather clock in the background. And we don't actually need to note the uh, protocol of coordinate retreat because what this is going to do is that it's going to give us coordinates to another area. So that's what the coordinate retreat would be. We don't have QI yet though, so we'll need to find that. Wait, how's the grandfather's clock going off if it's broken? That's I would like to know. The uninhabited theory by Subhunter. Nothing for us here. And that does it, pretty much. So, next up, 672. Ah, I hate when I do that. <laughs> Moving on. Oh. Look at this very basement looking place. And look at that, we've got a third kind of panel here for us. A brown rectangle. Alright. So... Brown rectangle. I believe that was the third digit, and I believe it was a seven. That was correct. Got another one of these scales. It says the same thing. And it's still broken. Yeah. What all that? Yeah, as you go through the rooms here, it kind of looks like it's kind of falling apart. 
Well, either Falling Apart or hasn't been made yet. I believe that I mentioned back in uh, back in uh, a couple of submachine games that some of, there are some artificial submachines that seem to be created by like the subnet itself by Shiva. This is theorized to be like another submachine in the process of being built, and it's being built very much like the basement, which kind of goes with what I said that artificial submachines made by the subnet itself are much more. Uh, repetitive and simple by nature. But anyway, we have a panel up here we can actually read. 1227 minus this. So, 1227 minus this. So, what do we got? It's 5. That is 5. And that's 5. <laughs> Alright, 555 is our next set of coordinates. I would quote a 555 five, five number from Spy Fox, but I can't remember any of them off by heart. Maybe I should play Spy Fox. <laughs> the meaningless theory. This is a really short one. It's kind of pessimistic, but yeah. It's like, the idea is that there isn't a purpose to the submachine. It's just a place. A big, interesting place, but not something with a reason to exist. To seek a purpose for, a bit, for it would be like asking, why do we have Jupiter? The submachine is simply a point of interest. It reminds me of the ocean floor. Only a tiny shred of it has been explored, but it doesn't matter to the larger world whether it is explored. He's not wrong, but... Uh, <laughs> that is kind of a pessimistic way of looking about it. But anyway, let's move on. Next coordinates are 553. Five, what have we got? We are back in the roots, once again. Now, this area, I believe, is known as the Roots Extension. Which I'll name just because we're back in the root anyway. Now, look at this. Six whole lockers that would have had cipher plates. That's a whole 12 cipher plates we could have had. <laughs> just imagine how many we, like how many other areas we could explore if we had like 12 cipher plates and I think we actually figured this out if I can find the exact note I took about it yeah so we have evidence of 12 cipher plates and if we had that which from the root alone would make for 157 locations within the root so yeah <laughs> anyway this plus 439 Plus 439. That is, alright, uh, 2, that's now a 6, so this is 9, that'd be a 9. Am I right about that, or oh, notes of mine? I am. Our next set of coordinates is 992. There should be something else for us here. Yet another cipher portal we can't use, but we do have another panel, a round rectangular panel. The first digit is eight. So, round rectangle, eight something something. We've only seen two of these, right? Yeah, we've only seen two. So we don't have another set of coordinates from any of those panels just yet. We have another theory. Waveform collects expansion move by Saki and Neko. Ah, uh, how stereotypically Japanese. <laughs> anyway, for us there. But I think with that, we're going to end this episode off here now that we are once again in a, another familiar looking location. I don't think we've actually ever explored this particular part of the route, but hey, we're back in the route regardless. So anyway, but next time on Let's Play Sun Machine Universe, we're going to continue on by going to Cornets 888. Now, the clue oh, was uh, infinity, 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 so you never know what that will bring up. But in any case, thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, guys, my name is Matt Omega, and I'll see you guys later.